see? Yeah, no, I'm just putting in my new energy efficient light bulbs. You know, being green. Do you really think those things are energy efficient, Claire? But Steve, isn't the government suggesting these to save energy costs? Yes, compact fluorescent bulbs may be more expensive, but you can save up to 75% on your home's energy costs in comparison to incandescent bulbs, which will soon be banned in the province of Ontario. Is that really what you think, Claire? I think you're in the dark on this one. <laughs> can you enlighten me? <laughs> The Ontario government and millions of other North Americans fail to take into account the amount of energy used in the entire process of making compact fluorescent bulbs, also known as CFLs. Instead, their focus is merely saving money on household energy bills. To fully understand the amount of energy used, one must examine the entire life cycle of the CFL. The journey begins in China where materials needed for the CFL are extracted and transported to a factory. These factories will manufacture the CFLs and put them on a ship to travel all the way across the Pacific Ocean almost 12,000 kilometers to North America. Once the CFLs are in North America, they are further transported to warehouses and retailers across the continent. If governments in North America created a law that required local industries to manufacture incandescent bulbs for their own region, transportation would be drastically reduced, which in turn would limit the overall amount of energy expended in comparison to the current system. But don't just hear it from me. Let's listen to what our scientist has to say. Hi kids! As any good scientist knows, this light bulb here is made in China. And that costs extreme amounts of energy to make, manufacture, and ship to North America. This incandescent, on the other hand, is made locally here in North America, which results in a lot less energy used. This is one of the many reasons why this light bulb here is actually more efficient than this one. <laughs> Hey, did you get a chance to check out the flyer this week for the big box stores? They really dropped the price on those fluorescent bulbs. Oh, that's brutal. Those things are pieces of junk. We should really keep an eye on Claire. I know she likes those green items. Yeah, good idea. Claire, thanks so much for coming over. It's such a blessing. Uh, I just, you know, I've been so busy growing this baby, reading, trying to prepare, and I just want the baby room to be right, I want it to be eco-friendly and green, and I know you know tons about that, so I really appreciate your help. Yeah, no worries, darling. I mean, there was this great sale at a big box store, and so I got all sorts of uh, energy-efficient green lights to put in the baby room, so why don't you just rest up here, and I'll go set them up, okay? Okay, thanks, Claire. No worries. Jeez Louise, can you believe that girl? Just brutal. Don't worry. I got this one. We'll keep an eye out from here. Claire, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Andy. I know, but it was on sale and the box said it was green. Don't you know that light contains one of the most toxic chemicals in the world? Really? Which one? Mercury. Not the best choice for the baby's room. But what proof do you have? Well, actually, my research shows that mercury is actually one of the most toxic substances in the world. Even a small amount can cause cancer, make your teeth fall out, or build up in your body and be a neurotoxin and give you brain damage. That's why I'm wearing this glove. If I were to drop this light bulb, this whole room would be a biohazard site. This little baby here is just glass, tungsten, and brass. It's harmless. Believe anything. How can storing a neurotoxin?
Jackson and all the bedrooms of children in North America be a wise thing. We see on sale. Now, you softies often answer, it's just a little bit. Yeah. As if that's a reasonable response. But what happens when you're out in the bush? You drop your drawers, and I come along and I give you a little love tap on your behind. You jump and yelp and swell up from that little bit of juice. And when we say it's only a little bit, you try to whack us. With many things in life, a little bit can be deadly. And mercury is one of those things. Why do you sappies allow this to happen? Have you all been drugged? Are you walking around in your sleep? And when you want to change the CFL, you send somebody to China to get a new bulb? Wacky! Mother Nature has been managing the Earth for 4.6 billion years. And she found the best thing to do with lots of these substances like carbon dioxide, like fluorine, is to bury them under the ground. But you sappies think you're smarter than Mother Nature. You have the hubris to think you know better? Don't they teach you how to ask meaningful questions in school? Don't you know the three R's? Yeah, for sure. Reduce, reuse, recycle. What? That's not the three R's. Sure it is. Refuse. What? Rethink. Huh? Reconceptualize everything. We need to start being more critical about where all of our products are coming from. Like, do you know where your clothes come from? Do you know where your uh, food is grown? Do you know what kind of things they put into your food? All these things take energy, and energy means emissions. And emissions means hotter earth. These privileges may not be around forever. So start thinking more locally. Wake up, sappies. The best thing you can do is get out of the way of Mother Nature and let her do her thing. And then maybe, to be a bee or not to be a bee, maybe she will take care of you. Today we looked at fluorescent bulbs and how they are not as green as they appear. The Ontario government is banning the sale of incandescent bulbs to encourage everyone to get their own mercury injected lights from China. What can you do, you ask? Well, the biggest thing is to be more critical and not let yourself be fooled by the media and governmental messages. Start asking questions about things you're not sure of. Where are hybrid cars made? What is biofuel? Where does your recycling actually go? The word green is used as a marketing tool, but remember to ask questions, look deeper, and don't forget the three R words the B mentioned. Refuse, rethink, and reconceptualize. Thanks for joining us. I can change the world with my own two hands, make a better place.